and welcome to today's leg workout. Might not be morning. Oh, sorry, I just have a habit of saying good morning. You might be doing them on an evening. Okay, hope you're fitting well today. We'll get marching on the spot to get warmed up. Um, for today's workout, you can use weights. You don't necessarily have to use weights. Okay, just give your arms a circle. Get that blood pumping, even though we're targeting your legs. We want to get everything else warmed up also. So nice deep breath. Good. Let's take it into some side steps. Big step to the side. Elbows high. Breathing in nice and deeply. Are you feeling good today? Are you in the mood for a leg workout? Whew. Have you had a good breakfast? I always, I always think it's good to have good breakfast before you... Um, or a good bit of fuel inside you before you do a leg workout. Okay, reaching up, lifting your knees up. Crunching your shoulders to your knees, stretch to your fingertips. Good, good, and twisting it around. As with all the exercises in the workouts, if there's anything that doesn't feel right, don't do them. You can either, I'll either give you a different option, or you can repeat another exercise, or if you doubt, get in touch, and I can always give you a different one to try if you encountering any problems with any of them if they just feel like hard work well my answer to that is you know get the hard work done i'm afraid okay we'll take it into a little bit of a jog giving your hips a wriggle from side to side it's as near to dancing as we get in any of my workouts <laughs> in fact this is probably is my dancing i don't dance <laughs> take your elbows out Ooh. Look, even more, uh, uh, my moves are, moves are improving for the dance moves. <laughs> and take your heels to your bum. Keep your shoulders back. Think about that good posture all the time. Good. And then back to marching again. Okay, we're going to do 60 second rounds today. Did I just say that? Yeah, 60 second rounds. Um, we're doing five different exercises and three rounds in total. Um, I'll show you them with a the weight first round. You don't have to use a weight. We're starting with, let me get a weight. Let me get a weight. We're starting with um, dumbbell swings. If you've got a kettlebell, you can use a kettlebell for these. So shoulders back, arms out strong. We're doing 60 seconds. Keep your tummy pulled in tight, weight in your heels. And off we go. So nice and strong. Your arms are straight all the time. Your hips are always lower than your shoulders. Good. You're pushing through your heels. You might want to take your feet a little bit wider in these ones. So you're getting a good wide, deep squat here. Now, it's important to pull your tummy in and keep that back strong. You're working your tummy and back as well. Good. Keep breathing. Power them out. So dumbbells, kettlebells, or any of my good old imaginary weight. Good, nice deep breaths. Keep going with them. Pushing through your heels. We're nearly there. Just watch that. The dumbbell's going high, but not right overhead. Don't want to be too high. You've got to be able to see it all the time. Last two here. And last one. Good, well done. Okay, next round. You want to hold weights to your shoulders. Or you can hold a weight across your chest. We're doing single leg lunges. We're just going to do 30 seconds each time. I'm going to make these harder each round. Um, so we'll start with the first option, which is just lunging back and tapping one leg, same leg. Off you go. I'll show you from the side. Good. So you're just tapping, coming back together. So making sure, again, your shoulders are above your hips. I've got the camera at a very funny angle today. I might have to adjust that not just yet good make sure you bend in that knee good we'll do two more on this side and then we'll switch to the other side Woo. nice and low good pull your tummy in keep those shoulders back big step Keep breathing. We're going to do two more on this side. And last one. 
Good. Well done. Did they feel okay for starters? Okay, side lunges. So going back to what you could have two weights, hold one weight. Oh, I've just switched to one weight. Okay, taking your feet really wide. Squatting to one side and back. So you might want to shuffle your feet out as you go. You might feel comfier with your feet out a little bit further for these. What is important to remember is you're still keeping that weight in your heels. You're sitting back into it. You'll feel it through one side, should be getting a stretch down your inner thigh. The other side, you're working those, that inner thigh. Good. Keep breathing, pushing out strong. Now, if you get a little bit deeper each time, great. Really push through that leg. Keep those shoulders back, watch you're not tipping over your knees. Good. Power them out. Nice and strong. Good. Keep pushing. Push. We'll do two more. And last one. Good. Well done. Okay. Squats. We're going to add a calf raise in there. We're going to take these narrower squats. So still hit width ish apart. Not too wide with these. Going, sinking into a squat and then lifting onto your toes. Let's go. So squatting, lifting. So weight in your heels and then shifting to your toes. Good stuff. You should really feel those calves working when you lift as high as you can onto your toes. Good. You find when you're lifting onto your toes, you're going to the outside or the inside, you push more into your big toe side. So you're working right round your calves. Can you squat any deeper? Now when I say that, I can always squat a bit deeper. You just have to keep reminding yourself, or I'll keep reminding you now and again, to keep that depth with your squats. We've got 10 seconds left of these, lifting up. Good, pushing through those toes. Last one. And lifting, lowering. Well done, good. Okay, you don't need any weights for these. You might want to put your hands on a mat. We're going to do those deep squats to burpee. So you start in position. Take your feet out. Sink into your hips. This is your deep squat position here. Can you get it? You can use a raised surface or the edge of a settee for these ones, if you wish. You put your hands down, you're jumping out and back into this position. Let's go. Good. These might be a slight leg burner. And if you're feeling them already, like I am, you know it's not going to be a joyous 60 seconds. I'm just going to tuck my t-shirt in there. Good. So each time, sit back, get those shoulders back into it. Whew. So your weight's in your heels when you're coming back. Feel those thighs burning. And your hips opening each time. We won't take these high speed, we'll take them steady. Whoa, brace yourself. We've got 15 more seconds. Can you get those hips nice and low? Shoulders back. Good. Last two. Shoulders back. And last one. And slowly come up from there. There's your five. They were a bit nasty today. Do they always feel that nasty? I'm just going to come closer to the camera just to change this angle. I don't know if I change it at all then, but hey. Good, how are your legs feeling? That's a bit better. Give your legs a shake, have a drink. Remember, as we're focusing on the legs, you will need that little breather in between. Okay, grab a drink, grab your weights. We're going for round two. So we're starting with either the dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever you're using for the swings. Your arms are straight. Your shoulders are back, your feet are out. And let's go. Your weight's still in your heels on these. Good. 
So even though you're using your legs, it's a leg workout, you'll be working your tummy. You're working your tummy muscles when you're squatting as well. So keep them pulled in. Good, arms straight and strong. Always lifting back with your shoulders so your chest is lifted. Good, good, power them out. Nice and strong. Can you sink any lower? We've got 10 more seconds here. Good. Last two. Good strong swing and last one. Well done. Okay. Single leg lunges. So progressions, we can either, what we're going to do now, add a knee in. Um, a progression might be adding weights. You can do them with or without weights. You'll feel them, whatever. I'm going to take my weights to my shoulders, hold knees. Lunging back this time, same leg, adding a knee raise in. Or stick to the originals. Off you go. So lifting. It'll just work that leg you're standing on. You should feel it in that leg. Ooh. Works your balance quite a lot. Have you got a good balance? Oh, the birds are tweeting. Very loud, aren't they? I have to shut the door again. I don't want to switch them off. Good. Last one on this side. Well done. Hold the birds tweeting just for 10 more. Okay, shoulders back to me and same on the other side. Lunging back. Can you, ooh, can you add that knee raise in? Ooh. Concentrating on that balance. I'm trying to remember to look at the clock as well. <laughs> we'll do two more on this side. Last one. Well done. Give your legs a shake. Okay, I'm going to side lunges. I'm going to have to shut the door. Beautiful sounds of the birds, but putting me off. Okay, taking your feet really wide. One way or two or zero. Off you go. Squatting down into it. I generally do the first one, then realise I can go a little bit wider with my stance on these. So you're sitting right back into it. Pushing your hips back and breathe in. Use that breath. Breathe out on the exertion of a move. So on the push. Good, well done. Nice and low. Pushing through your heels. Can you get any deeper? Remember you're sitting back into it. Feeling those legs working. Good, we're going to do two more here. And last one. Well done. Give your legs a bit of a shake. Okay, we're going for the squat and calf raise this time. So a little bit narrow with your squats. Toes pointing forward. Shoulders back, tummy in. And let's squat it into a calf raise. There's all different squat stances. It's good just to vary it. You might find you naturally prefer one position, but it's still good to vary it because it'll just be working your leg muscles from different angles each time. Just slightly different. So the narrow squats might feel a little bit strange, as may the wide squats, but try them both. Are you lifting onto your toes nice and high? Are you squeezing? At the bottom, we've got 20 more seconds of these. And now we'll be moving on to the ones which I wish I'd never put in now. But I've started. So I'll finish. 10 seconds. Good. Can you lift squat any deeper? Lift any higher? Last time. Well done. Good. It's funny how some days you really like a certain exercise and then you might do it another time and it just might feel really hard. I was quite liking these ones until today. Okay, I'm tucking my top in, nobody wants to see that. Okay, so hands down, get into that squat position, take your feet wide. 
Are we ready? 60 seconds. Whoa, let's go. I'll be keeping an eye on my time in these ones. So each time, come back into it. Sit back into your heels. Give your toes a wiggle as you sit back to check that your weight's in your hips. You will feel <laughs> if you're in the right position. If you can feel your hips opening and your thighs burning, you're doing them right. Good. If you can ever feel any squats more on your knees, then you've got to just check that you've got into that right position, back in your hips. Good work. We've got 15 seconds of these to go. Breathe deep. Two more. And last one. And slowly up onto your feet. Were you doing a better job of them than I was? I was taking them very steady. Feeling very hard those today. Well done. But they weren't painful, they were just hard. So I powered on. Okay, just keep your feet moving, give your legs a bit of a shake, have a drink. And we will do one more round of those. Okay. Same again, we'll add an extra addition onto the lunges. You can do it, you don't have to, but challenge yourself. As long as you know you're challenging yourself and not taking the easy option each time. There's a difference between a modified option and an easy option. Okay, if you need to modify an exercise for whatever reason, that's fine, but don't take the easy option. Shoulders back, tummy in. Are we ready? Last round, 60 seconds. Let's go. Has anybody noticed that these rounds have switched to 60 seconds instead of 45? Well, I thought I'd put that extra 15 seconds in to work extra hard this month. There won't all be 60 second rounds, but today's starting the month off as we mean to go on. Good, nice and deep with the squats. Breathe. Good, let's really power these out. Make sure you're giving your very best, you're doing your very best. Each and every time. Good stuff, we've got 15 seconds to go. Keep that weight in your heels, drop your hips. Power them up. Last two. And last one. Oh, good work. Okay, I am going to use the dumbbells. Small dumbbells, I'll admit. Okay, so we can stick to the, just the lunge backs. You can add the lunge back and knee, or I'm going to add a bit of a jump. Try it, it does make quite a big difference. Okay, same leg, just psyching myself up. Are you? Are we ready? Let's lunge back. Off you go. So add that little jump in. Just keep facing forward. Once you get your balance, you'll be fine. Sometimes it takes a couple of attempts to get that balance. Are you jumping here? Good, keep them going. Keep breathing. Last four, three, Two, and last one, well done. <laughs> Might want to take your arms out, give your legs a shake. Before the next set of 30 seconds, you feel a lot longer than 30 seconds. Go with it, challenge yourself. Let's go, same leg, other leg, sorry. Ooh. See, I'm wobbling over as well. Ooh. I'm trying not to. Keep that balance, pull your tummy in, that will help. Just a little jump, foot off the floor. I'm gonna do four more. Oh, I'll keep going, three. Last two. And last one. Oh, if you tried the jump there, well done. Okay, give your legs a shake off. 
Oh, you don't necessarily need to be doing loads of jumping and high speed things to get a sweat on, as you will realise from this morning's workout. So taking your feet out, nice and wide, shoulders back, tummy in, let's squat deep to the side and back again. Good, sinking down into it, keeping your shoulders back as you do. So keeping your shoulders so they're not over your knees. Can you sink any lower? Keep pushing through that heel. Good work. Nice and strong. Remember, it's your last set of each of these. So give it that extra special treatment of your best. 20 seconds to go with these. Sinking back. Good, last 10 seconds. Sit right back into it. Good, last two here. Push, and last one. Push. Well done, good. It's kind of a nice and nasty workout this morning, isn't it? Three of the exercises aren't too bad to uh, Okay, weights and shoulders. We're doing squats and calf raises. It's a bit narrower. With the squat size, just watch your toes and knees are both going forward. Okay, shoulders back, tummy in. Let's go, squat it deep, lift it high. Take your time to get as high as you can. Remember, see where you're pushing through your feet on these. Are you pushing to the sides? Are you pushing inwards or outwards? Try to use the whole of your foot. Depending on your feet, you'll naturally go to one position with these. I'm trying to push in here. Okay, let's squat a little bit deeper. Push a little bit higher. Good work. Keep breathing. Keep challenging yourself. So what it's all about to get a bit of progression, just trying hard every time. We're going to do three more. Onto your toes. Last two. And last one. Make it a good one. Well done. Good, good. Okay. They were the nice ones. Yeah. And uh, you might be enjoying these today. Quite a lot of the time people don't like these and I'm saying, oh yeah, they're really good. I know, I know how those people feel today. Okay, so... Last round of these. Are we ready? Let's get into that deep squat position. Come on, we're in it. It's the last 60 second round of this circuit. Hands down, deep breath. Let's go. Good, shoulders back each time. Come on, we can do this, you can do this. You might be springing through them at high speed. That's good as long as you're bringing your shoulders back each time. You can tell the difference when you do. And it does help protect those knees. That's what we're thinking. Good, nice and wide with the squats. Nice and deep with the hips. Your shoulders are back. You're powering through. We've got 20 seconds to go. How are you doing? Are you gonna finish strong? Yeah, of course you are. Last two. Shoulders back and last one. And slowly up, there really is no other way. Give your legs a shake. Whew. Step in, just keep them moving. Grab a drink. Whew. Okay, so today's finisher. We're going to alternate. I do put this in at the end of the legs workout quite a lot, but it's a good one. So I'm putting it in again. We're going to alternate between 30 seconds basic squats, however you want to do them wide, narrow. 
you can jump them if you want and then straight into 30 second squat hold three times no rest so three minutes and then we're finished it's a different feeling you can use the weight if you really want your legs feel a bit strange in this one go with it shoulders back tummy in first 30 seconds so just get into your comfortable squat position as long as you're squatting deep however you want to put your feet good make the most of these lovely 30 seconds to begin with keep smiling in this round if i'm showing any clips of this workout i'll do this 30 seconds because i'm smiling okay we're gonna do two more next one we're gonna hold it 30 seconds check you can wiggle your toes keep nice and deep shoulders back so far so good we're holding it in this position and at the end of the 30 seconds we're going straight back into those squats again how are you feeling can you lift your toes still can you tap them are your shoulders back he's sitting into it we've got five more seconds three two one let's go back with those squats now your legs might feel a little bit different this time <sighs> kind of <sighs> i don't know how to describe it kind of light as air and a little bit weak <laughs> they're not weak they're strong they just feel a little bit weak at the minute we've got 10 more seconds and that passed fast <sighs> good last two and the next one holding it again again check Whoa. check you can wiggle your toes can you squat a bit deeper keep those shoulders back you're still going to be sitting back into it all the time breathing deep and praying position 10 seconds mental strength also required we're nearly there last three two one and back into the squat straight back into them no leg shaking they feel super light as air now it's your last round here we're finished after this one keep it going keep those squats really deep good last three two and on the last one we're going to hold it last 30 seconds holding it here <sighs> breathing deep can you tap your toes can you squat any deeper 20 seconds <sighs> <sighs> keep your shoulders back can you drop any deeper <sighs> keep your weight in your heels 10 seconds stick with me you can swear if you want to we're nearly there. Last three, two, one, and oh, slowly come out of it there. Just take your time to readjust. You might get a bit of um, lightheadedness there and stepping from side to side. Well done. How are your legs feeling? I put that in there. I might put those in quite a lot, actually, um, not to put you off, but for... Um, anyone new to the group doing three rounds we might build that up to um, more rounds of those just for future reference don't turn it off though by the time we do your legs will be able to do them no problem okay are you feeling good grab a drink we'll have a leg stretch don't miss off the stretches don't just turn it off now and go do something unless you're going out and for a walk or a run or something even if you are, it's a good idea to um, get some stretches in first. Remember, stretches, they don't prevent your legs from aching. They can help, but they do help look after your muscles and your joints and your ligaments. Um, so they can help prevent any injuries. Okay, we're going to start seated position. Taking your toes out, I'm just shuffling so my feet are on. Okay, taking your legs out in front, reaching up high. This is so you lengthen your back. So lengthen your back and then bring your arms forward. Keep that back 
lengthened all the time. And when you get to your furthest point, just slowly bring your arms down to wherever they are. Relax your head and breathe. Now you should feel a really good stretch, probably right from your ankles, up your calves, your hamstrings, lower back. You'll be able to tell where your tight spots are. If it's your calves that are feeling it most here, then you know that you need to stretch your calves a little bit more, and so on and so forth. Now each time you breathe in, lift, and then breathe out, lower, by lengthening your back, can you crawl your hands forward? You might be able to grab hold on, onto your feet here. Don't force the stretch. Breathe into it. You're sinking. You're lengthening your back. Good. One more deep breath here. Can you lengthen any more? As you breathe out, keep that head relaxed. You don't need to look up or anything. Just keep in this position on that breath. Okay, then slowly sitting up, just bringing your hands to the side. We're going to uh, turn it over now. I'm just going to go at an angle. You might want to take your trainers off for these. Um, it might be a bit more comfortable, but I'm keeping mine on. Doesn't matter either way if you find them uncomfortable. So you're bringing your knee between your hands here. I'm just going to move back. Can you see? So your knee is in between your hands. You're sitting. Sinking into your hips here, so your hips are level, watch they're not crossed to one side. And again, you're just going to slowly breathe out and relax your upper body and sink into those hips. You should be feeling a really good glute stretch here. Breathe into it and sink a little bit more on each outward breath. Good, good, okay. And then slowly come out of this one, onto the other side, knee between your hands, sink into those hips, make sure they're level, and then just rest in here. You can rest here if it feels quite tight here, you can stay here. If you can, just bring your elbows out down a little bit more. After those deep squats and burpees, your hips should pro probably be quite opened up a little bit, so you should be able to get quite sink into these, maybe a little bit more than usual. Make sure your head is relaxed and just breathe into that muscle you're stretching, your glutes and your hip area. <sighs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, from this position, you're going back onto your hands and knees. You're going to keep your hands under your shoulders, turn your toes under, then lift your hips. Drop your head, you might want to readjust your feet. You're aiming to push your hands in the floor. Push your heels down and lift your hips high. Again, you'll be feeling a little bit of a stretch down the back of your leg and just pedal into your feet here. Just stretching your calves a little bit more these. If you need to pedal, pedal, but just push your hips down, heels down, hips high. One more deep breath here. And then dropping onto your knees. We're gonna take one foot in front of the other. It's a long stretch. Enjoy these stretches. Appreciate the hard work your body's done. You should be feeling the stretch down the front of your thigh here. We're stretching all angles today. We've worked all angles, so we're going to stretch. And then slowly onto the side. You can, of course, hold these for a little bit longer. Do them again. Just breathe into them. Always hold a stretch for at least 15 seconds. <sighs> Breathing all the time you do. <sighs> Good. And then coming up onto your feet. Giving your arms and legs a shake. Are you feeling okay? Let's take those feet out. Ooh, move, move off the mat. <laughs> take your arms out. We'll breathe and stretch to finish. So breathing out. Big breath in. And again, breathing out, big breath in. And final time, breathe out, big breath in. And then slowly bring your arms down. Well done, everybody. Well done, legs. Have a good day. Have a great evening. And I will see you all for the next workout. Bye for now.